Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Zitzlau Belzitzman and Akiba Rubinstein. This game was played in Warsaw in 1917. Polish chess master Belzitzman started with e4. Akiba Rubinstein played e5. Knight to f3. Knight to c6. Knight to c3. Black to move. Knight to f6 was played. If black plays bishop to c5, then white may take on e5, and after knight takes on e5, d4. Back to our game. Knight to f6 was played. Bishop to b5, black to move. Bishop to b4 is the most played move in this position. Rubenstein played knight to d4, attacking the bishop. Would you like to know what is this variation called? Surprise, surprise, it is called the Rubenstein variation. Bishop to c4, let's take it back. If knight takes on e5, then queen to e7, and after f4, knight takes on b5, knight takes on b5, d6, attacking the knight and excelling the pawn on e4. Back to our game. After knight to d4, we have bishop to c4, bishop to c5, white to move. White can have a quiet game by playing d3. But Belzitzman accepted the challenge and played knight takes on e5, attacking the pawn on f7. How to defend the pawn? How would you defend the pawn? Perhaps castling kingside comes to mind, do you agree? Instead of a safe move, Rubenstein played queen to e7, daring white to take on f7. Knight to d3. There was another game that went like this. Knight takes on f7, d5, knight takes rook, d takes on c4. With a crazy game. But this is a game for another time. Back to our game. Knight to d3 was played attacking the bishop on c5. Black to move. Rubenstein played d5. Let's take it back. Why not knight takes on e4? If knight takes on e4, then castling with rook to e1 to follow. White is better. Back to our game. d5. Knight takes on d5. Queen takes on e4, check. Knight to e3. Bishop to d6. And Belzitzman castle at king's side. Black to move. Should black castle first? and then think about the attack. How would you continue? Instead of castling, Rubenstein played b5. Very sharp move. Bishop to b3, and now bishop to b7. White must watch his g2 pawn and g2 square. Knight to e1, and the pawn is now very secure. Rubenstein played queen to h4, threatening a checkmate on h2 g3. Defending, but with this move, white is weakening the light squares around his king. How relevant is that? Queen to h3 was played. c3. Kicking the knight back. Maybe. What is the best square for the knight? I guess most players would capture the bishop. Do you agree? There was a big surprise. Rubenstein played h5. Did he forget about his knight? Belzitzman happily captured the knight. h4. Black is threatening. h takes on g3. And after pawn takes pawn, queen to h2 checkmate. So, Belzitzman played queen to e2. When pawn takes pawn, f takes on g3 and the queen will guard the pawn on h2. This is now the most interesting position of the game. It is black to move. What would you do? Please pause and find the best continuation for black. Did you pause? What did you find? Are you ready to see this killer move? The move is queen takes pawn on h2 check. Sacrificing the queen. What an amazing move. King takes queen. What else? h takes on g3. Double check. King to g1, 
why to move and to check wait in one and move is rook to h1 check mate wow absolutely amazing what do you think of this game and that is all i hope that you enjoyed watching this video i wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now